Hi, Sushant. Hi, Prana. Uh, so first of all, you know, the, thank you for giving us your time for placement wired. It's a pleasure, Prana. Thank you for uh, having so, me. So uh, we'll start with your introduction first. So uh, tell something about yourself uh, to our viewers. Hello, everyone. My name is Sushant Srivastava, and I'm a fourth year student at uh, VIT Valor studying computer science and engineering. I'm also in uh, Beta MLSA, which is an ambassador program from Microsoft, and I'll be uh, an upcoming software developer at JP Morgan. Well, that's really great, Sushant. And, you know, congratulations for your uh, placements at JP Morgan. Uh, Thank you. So, you know, Sushant, could you tell us about uh, the process in brief? What happened? Uh, how, how many rounds were there? So if you consider uh, the placement process of JP Morgan Chase, so they used to do a uh, normal hiring before, but now they have started to hire only from Code for Good. So Code for Good is a uh, nationwide hackathon that JP Morgan organizes every year. And through that process, they uh, take these interns and full-time developers. So it starts from a coding round, and then you move on to an interview, which is AI based. So you'll be asked a few questions and you'll be recorded there. Then after those uh, these two steps, you will be asked uh, to uh, perform in the Code for Good hackathon. So this this hackathon is for two days, and during this hackathon, everything of you will, will be judged. You will be assigned from mentors, and these mentors are highly skilled professionals from J.P. Morgan who will be monitoring you 24/7, so as to know how the person is and how they tackle the problem and whatever solutions that they uh, procure with the process. And how they handle the whole team, which is being assigned to uh, you. So, Shushant, now you know. Could you tell us about your interview experience round to round? What happened in your? Uh, what was the first step of JP Morgan Chase? Uh, so, the whole step can be divided into four months. So, I'll be giving you an approx date, which you can uh, every student can look up to. So, we got an uh, invitation from our uh, campus placement team around March of uh, first week. So, it was just asked to uh, for us to fill the forms where we are required to uh, input all the basic details of CGPA and the branch that we are pursuing. And based on that, we were uh, given a link for online test, which was on HackerOn. So after the first uh, round, basically it was on the first week. So we are supposed to fill the forms and most probably according to the eligibility criteria from JP Morgan, we were shortlisted and we were provided a link for online test. So the online test was on HackerOn and it had two questions. And if you have been practicing easy to medium questions from lead code, they were basically from the question that I got uh, as far as I can remember was from uh, hash map. So it was a salesman problem where we need to pick up unique IDs from a number of uh, uh, keys that we are given. So if you search on Geek Storage, you'll be able to find that question. So after the second round, it was an emulation round who were, who were able to solve both the questions. They were uh, receiving an online test uh, interview. So it was an AI based interview around the last week of March. So it had some uh, basic questions regarding your introduction and what all we have done on according to our and projects. As far as I remember, one of these questions were related to one of the hard times that you have done in a past project or any internship and how did you overcome with that challenge? So they just generally want to know how you are able to speak and communicate and able to properly say it just need to be active and then you need to focus on the questions and active uh, answer positively where you can express yourself in in your words and it will be uh, ai monitored so on which platform this you know interview was uh, taken if this was on higher view so uh, if you have used higher view before it is a generic platform that company use to take ai interviews and you get questions displayed on a screen and then you need to you get some time to prepare for an answer around 30 seconds and you just need to record yourself and send it to them and it is auto submitted in the end uh, so after this ai based interview uh, this was generally around the uh, last week of march then we got in results that we were selected for the hackathon so it was around may month uh, on mid of may and then our hackathon was actually happening on the first week of june so this hackathon had altogether of 800 participants and we are divided into 100 teams all together. So these 100 teams were having around seven to eight people in their team, and they will be working uh, together to find this uh, solution for the social good army. We are divided into teams, and we'll be getting these uh, topics to us, and they'll be explaining what problems that they are facing. And then it is our team and the mentor who will be deciding on what we're supposed to plan and how we are supposed to do it. So before this hackathon, we also have an uh, mentor and student huddle where we talk to our mentor on planning on how to proceed. We do an introduction session. We know what will people do so that we 
are able to connect to all of our team members. Then we have an hackathon survival round event, which uh, gives us tips and tricks on how we can perform better in this hackathon. What are the things we need to focus uh, on? This year, what we got was an NGO called United Way of Bangalore. So they were this organization who generally takes data from local villages and municipalities. So they collect a data in user uh, through user base with a lot of people uh, who are not very technically sound. So they take these data in Excel sheets and they're supposed to use this data and able to visualize it later on. So this was their own problem statement where they're supposed to get the data from local places and they they want to they want us to give a solution where we can visualize all the data that they have been providing, how we can uh, uh, analyze them a year on year basis and how we can uh, process them in maybe uh, if they are going for some funding or if they want to show some progress or if they want to prepare an annual report of that data so they can use it in that way. So this was something that we got and it was a challenge for us because we were not uh, ready on our tech stack before, but as soon as we got the challenge, we were ready that we'll be uh, going for a web app uh, where we'll be using uh, front end as React. So we decided on one stack. So we had people from backend who were looking on Mongo and Express uh, JS to prepare the solution. And we started uh, our, our uh, hackathon on Saturday. So it was on 4th of June. So we started on 9 p.m. We talked with our mentor. They, uh, she actually did help uh, a lot. So we had two ma'am who were our mentors. So the first mentor did help with us uh, during the selection of this SGO as well. So she helped our, us on how we can think of this problem statement and what are the problem that we're actually trying to find out. So with her help, we were able to finalize at a solution and we started working from uh, mid of, uh, from the afternoon of 4th of Jan, 4th of June, and then we processed on uh, to the hackathon. We got the problem statement. We worked for the solution. We talked with our mentors and there are two important things that happen uh, during this uh, hackathon. One-on-one uh, -on -one interviews that are taken. Uh, these are generally discussions where you'll be judged on your technical and non-technical skills. And I would say uh, being uh, having yourself selected as an uh, employee of JP Morgan, you need to ace this round because these two uh, people are the ones who will be selecting you for your future uh, uh, job that may be internship or full-time. So they'll be monitoring you on uh, how you have been performing. They'll be asking you questions based on that. So we'll have, have a healthy discussion where she'll be asking us on what all we did in this interview. So uh, I had two uh, interviews during this time. So one was around 9 or 10 p.m. and one was around 1 p.m. So the first one was technical. So she generally asked me basic DSA questions related to sorting. Then she moved on to the projects that I am preparing. What are my leadership skills are? If I know all the members, how I find a solution and what all things I did the whole day in a process and how we are thinking and idealizing on preparing a solution. So she wanted to know overall and how I have been performing. So I would say they want to generally know our leadership skills, social skills and interpersonal skills on with all the members and how we are uh, properly bonding with them. The next interview I had was an uh, basically non-technical round where she was asking me about JP Morgan and why do you want to be an employee and what all things do you think are required for an uh, employee to do as, at JP Morgan? So I had my uh, answer and told. And after this uh, interview, uh, we co continued on the problem statement and we had two judging rounds. The, the first one is technical judging round and the final judging round. And then we are uh, supposed to get the list of the winners. And I would say it's not uh, very much important that you need to win this hackathon, even if you have a participant or a finalist, you are eligible for a job at uh, JP Morgan. But the most important part is you need to ace these interviews and perform well with an uh, idea in mind that you're preparing a solution that will be helping an actual organization in the future. So Shishan, now we know that you have been selected and player all the rounds. So we really want to know what was your preparation strategy for JP Morgan Chase? Uh, so I would say uh, what JP Morgan tries to look into a student is how they have been uh, working during their engineering and what all things that they have learned. So it can be related to development. It can be related to leadership skills. It can be related to your management skills and technical skills, of course, since we are applying for a uh, developer. Role. I used to do a bit of co coding on lead code and gigs for gigs around third year. I did in some in second year. I stopped in between. I looked into development parts. 
mostly into front end and then i continued on uh, my dss skills so i would say some of part of their technical skills are very important then you move on to development you need to know some sort of tech stack so even if you do not know and if you are very naive to all of this if you know the start of this process and if you have faced the interview you can start preparing on some of this tech stack for example front end or mobile app development at least you will have something to know and prepare beforehand uh, for this hackathon so it is always always an added benefit if you know what most of the people are comfortable within your team so as early as you find that you will be able to start uh, building the solution so after this uh, i think i was a part of uh, a lot of clubs and chapters in vit itself and they did uh, encourage me on my communication skills interpersonal skills and some of my team building skills that they, they these all of these did help me quite a lot to learn on how my team is working how i can cooperate with our team and how I can get the maximum benefit from all of the people that are working in the team at the end of the day what they want to know is a team is there a person is working and they are showing the leadership skills they are working for a solution and all of the team members are working so generally the questions that they want to uh, know and the discussion that they have is generally based on these things they'll they'll ask you what all have you done in your college what things that, that you have acquired what projects have you have worked on what languages do you know what dsa uh, you have studied so they ask all of these questions and they ask more, most importantly on what are you doing in the hackathon and how you are uh, sorting everything and how you are processing everything at each stage and what are you preparing for the next what uh, what are the backups that you are thinking if something goes wrong and how you will be presenting as your final interview so i think all of these matters all together so it's not something that you can prepare a week ago and then just appear for this test it generally requires something that you have been working on uh, during your college life so i would say you need to be active in all out all, all, all out of these skills not just coding now my next question is so what is the pro tip that you would like to give people who are aspiring to become a you know software developer in jp morgan chase or in any other company as such okay so uh, i'll talk about jp morgan chase uh, first of all so as i said you need to work on development skills this is something that will be very important for example if your team is working on a tech stack and something that you do not know you need to know at least some of these basics but uh, one thing that is very important is you need to be open for learning new stuff so if you even know a little bit and you are ready to learn and uh, adapt uh, during the process because uh, jp morgan do not does not want a something that uh, a solution that is built from scratch they want something as a final product that the as users can directly use so even if you know some template from online and you can you think you can work it out and contribute as a team member then it will be welcomed and it is something that you can focus on for ai interview i think you can prepare on basic questions that are asked from company like your introduction like uh, what all things that you have done your weaknesses how you have handled these what are your uh, strengths you can prepare these questions uh, thoroughly so that you are confident at least while you are doing and you are positive while you are answering all of these questions so after these two i uh, apart from this i would say if you start uh, working on your dss skills or you on it's always an added advantage even if you are able to solve a single question per day from lead code it will be more than enough even if you start in your third year i will not guarantee you land up at an high, highest package uh, securing job but at least we start early on and you are always ahead of your friends it will always be an added benefit and it's not that you just need to learn coding it's about your overall development and growth in your college just like to highlight a few more things so uh, if you see these interviews videos online you see a lot of stuff so i would say we are preparing something uh, for any company you should look on to what all questions have been asked previously so if you can uh, go through the playlist of youtube you might find a lot of resources so it's better to see these videos and get something so my only motive uh, of this interview was i how i can add some of these questions that are unanswered in some of these videos so if you are preparing for jp morgan i welcome you for the next year and prepare well and if you need anything you can reach out to me on linkedin thank you